All right. Hello, folks. Uh, my allergies are killing me. I'm exhausted. Kind of need to go to sleep. And we know what that means. It's obviously time to make a video about Warhammer. Uh, <laughs> going to the uh, Wicked Dicey AOS Fall Retreat here this weekend, uh, coming up uh, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so we're driving up on Friday with the team. It's another five-man event. Uh, this is the fall edition of the one that uh, I went up to in the spring with some friends, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we took third in the spring. Uh, so we're going with almost the same team, except uh, we have Roger Young instead of John Pollock. Um, I think he had, you know, kid responsibilities that he couldn't get out of. Turns out children require attention and care to keep them alive. I don't know. Seems seems like a bad deal to me. Uh, I've moved, so... I'm currently, uh, my, my computer is set up in my room of shame where I still have some boxes back there of, of things that I haven't unpacked yet. Uh, so, so I'm in a different spot these days. Hopefully the audio and the acoustics here are not too bad in this room. Uh, I'll find out when everybody complains or doesn't complain about the audio for this video. Uh, so I'm the captain this time. Uh, Jake kindly let me be the captain. Um, he was the captain in the spring. But I took home the uh, the magical pairing stick, so I have the power of the pairing stick, and thus I am the captain now. Uh, so yeah, I I need to go through all the lists. I've looked at some of them um, and start thinking about matchups and things. Uh, so I figured I might as well do that on a video, uh, so you all can hear my thought process and steal all of my cool strategies. Um, yeah, this is with the new. Um, Balance patch, what do they call it? Battle scroll? I think it's battle scroll. Anyway, so with the new balance patch, uh, new points and all that good stuff. Uh, we've all been playing them for a little bit. Um, I think I'll just, I'll go over our team first. Uh, I am playing OBR. Uh, I'll just talk about my list first real quick. I am, I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'll have time before Friday. Uh, I'm gonna do, an OBR focused um, video at some point. I won a I won a local RTT. I went three and zero with this list uh, a few weekends ago. Uh, I think OBR are pretty busted right now. I think they're really good. Um, you know, I think they're I think they're top four army. I don't know about top three. I don't think they're the top because Lumineth exists. Uh, although I've still managed to avoid playing Lumineth, uh, but they're just really freaking solid. So my list, I have Catacros. A Mortis Guard, three Mortis Guard, uh, ten Death Riders, the Liege Cavalos with the, the five up ward, uh, Soul Mason with the minus two to charge aura. Uh, I think this was a mistake. I think I should have aura of sterility here to, for the minus one against shooting, um, just based on the current meta and what everyone's bringing, etc. Uh, and then I have four Morgast Archai. Um, I may forget. To bring the bone tithe nexus just because it's a pain to transport and it's huge and it takes up too much space we'll see uh and yeah obr lore obviously and the the horrors of the necropolis one of the things about this tournament is um each team can only have one of each manifestation lore so like i would have taken this anyway but like it's definitely helpful that obr has a good lore for the team comp um yeah this list is just super solid catacross hands out a bunch of plus one to save so like your morgast are always sitting on a two up catacros is probably always sitting on a two up um so yeah it's it does a bunch of damage it's hard as hell to kill uh probably gonna be trying to play this on like low objective maps to just sit in the middle and sit on the couple objectives and be unkillable and slap things uh like i said i'll get into more detail about obr in a different video uh but then we have jake uh with the gits so he's playing a bit of a mixed list with like Stabas and Squigs. Uh, so he's got the Loom Boss, Sneaky Snufflers, Reinforced Squig Hoppler, Hopplers, <laughs> Hoppers, uh, Loom Boss on the Giant Cave Squig with the Fight Another Day and Clammy Cow, three Gaba Paloozas, Squig Boss with the Nasha Squig, a unit of, big unit of Stabas, and then two Reinforced Squig Herds. So a little bit mixed between... Um, Squig herds and like the Stabas and got the Gobble Paloozas. Um, 
Iron Gutsman claims got blues are super broken. Jake's got three. I guess that's good. Cool story. And uh, he's got the dank manifestations uh, as well, again, because, you know, even if that's not maybe um, optimal, we can only take one of each manifestation lore. Uh, so Nick is playing Ogres. Um, we th briefly considered uh, an audible to switch Nick at the last minute to Stormcast. Um, but decided since he's been practicing with ogres, we're just going to stick with ogres. And also, um, he, he, do he doesn't quite have the Stormcast stuff to build, like, the optimal Stormcast list anyway. Like, I also play Stormcast, and between us, I think we only have three long strikes. Uh, and I think six long strikes is, like, kind of the place to start for any good Stormcast list. Um, so Nick's playing ogres. Uh, he's got the lore of primal energy to hopefully get some healing on the ogres. Um... You know, he's got Ravenax, all that good stuff. Um, so he's got a Slaughtermaster with gruesome trophies, as one does. A reinforced unit of Iron Guts. He's got a Butcher with a small unit of Iron Guts. A Butcher with a small unit of Gluttons. And then a uh, Frost Lord on Stonehorn. And then the Ice Brown Hunter with two Frost Sabers. So these guys are doing, you know, tactics. You've got the big unit of Iron Guts to, to smash things. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, talked about me. Roger is on Slaves to Darkness. So Roger is kind of intended to be our other low objective count list that we're trying to put into those. Um, so Roger, before the point adjustments, had um, the Bellicor list with 2x6 Varengard. Uh, that doesn't quite fit. So you can, basically with the point adjustments, you could either drop the Sorcerer Lord and still have... Uh, the two by six Varengard and the two Furies fit and be a one drop. Um, but Roger chose to go with the Sorcerer Lord to still get the five up ward uh, and be a little tankier there and go with Abraxia instead of Bellicor. So basically just dropped Bellicor to Abraxia and kept the list the same otherwise. Um, and the thinking here, Roger, basically, you know, the, the two Varengard are just ridiculous hammers and with nurgle they're actually very brawly and tanky too um we just kind of i don't know we we, we kind of don't think that you need corn on varengard uh and nurgle is kind of better to be brawling on points and things um and then roger was really just looking for a third hammer and abraxia fulfills that role and also synergizes with the varengard very nicely um obviously this is you know compared to just Bellacore, you, you lose a cast here, um, but you do get the Radiance of Dark Glory and the Infernal Puppet, since you have a non-unique character. Um, so the Puppet can be nice against casting, and the Radiance is obviously very nice to be healing Abraxia and the Varengard a little bit every turn uh, can be very nice. So this is just, you know, this is a smash list. Uh, it's very alpha smashy. Um, not going to get too deep on these. And then Steve Cole playing Seraphon. Um, this is a pretty... I don't know. I don't know if there's like a standard standard um, Seraphon list, but it's all the stuff you might expect, right? It's a Slan with a Quaddle Familiar. It's two Hunters of Huanchi with Starstone Bolas, which I still think are amazing. It's an Astrolith Bearer with the Beastmaster. This is probably the weirdest thing in the list. Uh, reinforced Dagger Down Lancers, 2x10 Warriors, a Skink Star Priest, a third unit of Hunters with Bolas, uh, and then you've got Reinforced Chargers and a unit of um, Hunters, Raptodon Hunters. So it's got a couple, you know, it's got the Agrodons and the Raptodons that can go in and do a bunch of damage to things. The Hunters, the Raptodons are all very fast. You've got the uh, Hunters of Wanchi, the Chameleon Skinks, um, to drop in and just mess up charges and hand out their debuff and do you know take the flanks and all that be in the back line just being annoying and threatening back points uh and you've got a couple units of source warriors to sit on points and hold them so this is a you know this is one of our very good uh lists for the high objective maps like an eight objective map this is this this has got enough fast stuff and stuff that can drop into the back line that makes holding the back points really annoying for enemies to to go for your points um so yeah, as I said, Roger and I kind of playing um, the small objective maps, everybody else a little more free to play the bigger ones, you know, the 
squigs can get up there fast the hoppers all that good stuff the ogres are fast um so that's just you know that's kind of our basic game plan i'm not going to go through like pairings or anything here um but let's go through the rest of the teams there are 14 teams this time up from 10 in the spring so i have more lists to go for through um so there's not going to be a whole lot of analysis here i'm just going to quick go through all the lists and see see what the teams are bringing uh so one inch redeploy has cities hedonites stormcast maggotkin and seraphon um one thing our team comp is very light on is shooting uh we have very little shooting other than just you know the seraphon has a few of the little skink units um that shoot I, I think we're going to see here a lot of the teams went a lot heavier on shooting. I assume the cities, Heat Knights, Stormcast are going to have, you know, a decent bit of shooting. Uh, so that's kind of why I was saying I should have taken the Aura of Sterility just to, to counter some of that a bit. Uh, so yeah, we have Ironwell, Guild Army. Uh, ah, yes, this list. So he's got Warden King, 2x20 hammers. <laughs> a Rune Lord with 20 more hammers. A Gyro Bomber. I assume that's, you know, basically to do... Um, be fast and do tactics. Uh, reinforced unit of Iron Drakes. I actually have no idea what Iron Drakes do. I know they shoot. That's about all I know. Uh, then we've got a Battle Mage with Master of Ballistic and two units of Wilder Core Hunters with the pregame move. So they'll be doing like take the flanks and stuff, I assume. So this is just a bunch of bricks of hammers that are uh, pretty tough to kill and do a lot of damage. Solid. Uh, the Hedonites, please don't unbind my crit mortals. It's a good dream. Oh, I should say this is Forbidden Power for the Manifestation Lore. That's maybe I don't remember if that's I don't remember if that's like Warp Converse Convocations or if this is um, Bridge. But anyway, Heat Knights got Shalaxi Hellbane, Reinforced Archers, a unit of Demonettes, a unit of Simbarest Twin Souls, Reinforced, a uh, unit of Slix Blades, just the five, and then you've got Shard Speaker of Slanesh. 10 more archers, another unit of seekers, the only unit of seekers, sorry, five, and then another unit of five slick blade seekers. So this is a, I like this, this is a balanced list. Um, you've got like the reinforced twin souls uh, to hopefully hold something down. You've got Shalaxi to like hero hunt. You've got some very fast stuff. So this looks like a high objective map list to me. Uh, Madigan's overlooked peasant girl, <laughs> Dylan. Uh, has got the Stormcast, so not a big dragon, which is actually unusual. Um, it's got Gabriel Sherhart, no idea what he does now. Got a reinforced unit of Grand Hammers. I recently played a game with Annihilators, who I was super down on and thought were terrible, and they did much better than I thought. Of course, I actually hit my charges, which always helps. Um, I also had the Imperitant in that list, so like the D3 move after coming him down did help. Um, but this is this is still a scary unit, and if it's dropping down with like him, I don't know. I, I I feel like people are leaning a lot more towards the minus one attack bodyguard honor guard thing. Um, so like three up save, three wounds apiece. It's it's not trivial to kill six of them. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Lord Terminos reclusions uh, reinforce so six reclusions. Uh, Knight Relictor with. Uh, unit of Vigilors, and then a Lord Veritant. I have to look up what some of this does. Uh, with I believe that six Prosecutors are reinforced, three and three. Um, so two little units to be fast and do tactics. Again, this is th this is all fast. This is all charging three d six. It moves like twelve. Um, so again, this is a lot of units with the ability to spread out and do high objective maps. Um, it do be like that Maggotkin of Nurgle. I would assume Maggotkin are more of the hold few numbers of points list. Uh, so we got a Lord of Afflictions, uh, two Plague Drones, four Blight Lords, four Blight Lords, uh, and then a single Blight Lord that you can get with the Lord of Affliction. And then you've got the uh, Skaven Regiment of Renown. Oh, and this is with Primal for the healing and, and Ravenax. Um, so this is with the Regiment of Renown for the um, shooting from the Skaven. So fast Blight Lords that can pin things. I assume this is like something like it used to be where you can move them. I don't know. I, I think flies are bad now. Flies don't scare me. Um, 
the shooting is probably a nice touch to synergize with the Nurgle stuff that's kind of tough, but I I don't even think I don't even think this is all that that tough and scary anymore. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going <laughs> to I need to stop saying we'll see at every list. I let me put it this way. When I when I see a list that like I don't immediately see how it works, I don't want to assume that it doesn't work. I want to assume that I don't know the army very well and that they know something I don't know is is how I tend to err. Um, <laughs> so when I when I say we'll see, I mean I don't immediately see how it scares my list, but I don't want to be a dick about being like, oh, that's because my list would run this over and my list is better. Um, and right, then we finishing off with Seraphon. We've got the Sunclaw Starhost. So that is the uh, pile-ins with Croxidors or Saurus to do D3 Mortals at the end of the turn, which is a nice grindy um, thing. Uh, it's got the Skink Starseer with Beastmaster and the Familiar, which, yep, there's no slam. Uh, two units of Bolas, six Crocs, 10 Rapid on Chargers, an Old Blood on Foot. I know the price on this went down, but I don't know what it does. I think it triggers like the Saurus Warriors to fight as well. Uh, and then six Lancers and three Lancers, Agrodons. Uh, with the ten source warriors eh, this feels this feels solid i've toyed with dropping the slan and playing without the slan but it's just i i think you drop the star seer actually in in my opinion i think you drop the star seer not the slan but dropping the slan does open up points to get you you know a decent bit more stuff do i think the old blood is like the optimal thing to get with those points Probably not, but like you do need another hero to open up the other regiment. That's like that's kind of why that like Steve brought I think the Astrolith Bearer to have the extra hero um, and open up the the other regiment without paying too much for another hero. Um, we'll see. It's this this has a lot of tools. It's got the hunters. It's got the Crocs are scary. It's got the six Agrodons are scary. Can hold down points with this. Even three Agrodons against like. Like, three Aggrodons on a flank against little things on the flank will just chew them up. Um, so I, I do like this list. Uh, so yeah, that's their comp. Um, I feel like they... I feel like they have a lot more... I feel like they have a lot more numbers of units than we do. Like, they, they generally have a higher unit count. Um, always Loaded, Captain by Marcella. It's got a KO list, I assume, is shooty. Uh, what else do you do? Daughters of Cain, OBR, Stormcast, and Lumineth. Uh, I'm going to look at Lumineth first because they're probably scary. This is a techless list with 10 wind chargers, 20, I think, right? Sentinels reinforced, a ballista, the war sages, and then 2x10 wardens. Um, I don't know how good Teclas is now. I don't know. He's Teclas. He does Teclas things. It's great being able to just like bring out um, the Morbid Conjuration stuff automatically. That seems strong. Just popping out Purple Suns and Grave Tides for days. Um, yeah. I, I Like I said, I still haven't played Lumineth. I know they're considered to be at the top. I still haven't played them. I don't know how scared to be of this list versus anything else. But I will say this does not have any of the... Um, the wind spirits so this i don't know my my instinct is that tech list maybe scares me less than like the wind spirit list uh but i don't know uh then we got indrasta oh, i love this list already uh indrasta 10 vanquishers i think they're good for the points two by five vigilors uh handing out plus one to hit i think for other units when they shoot things uh and then you got bastion for the pre-game move with infantry and then three by six prosecutors who are the flying guys i think right uh i'm looking it up i'm just making sure i remember this um i again like, like i was just saying i i'm looking at these lists through like i'm always like you know you're you're always prejudiced looking at lists thinking how it does against my list specifically and i'm trying to think about how these do in a team environment um this is a lot of very fast middle-ish punchy i would say things um i feel like i kind of consider prosecutors in my head to be like medium hitty right but they do I, eh, 
thing is they also have the shooting. So they move 12, they have the tenant shooting for it's one shot each for D3 damage. So like that's a good chunk. And then on the charge, that's 19 attacks, threes, threes, ren one, two damage. And you also have to remember that like one one unit per turn in Stormcast can go plus one save, plus one to wound. So like this it's a lot of this is a lot of this is four things that are twelve inch move in three D six charge. This is gonna like get in and execute whatever it wants. So I like that. I don't know. I in teams I think this is a good list. Like this this could be good into certain things in teams for sure. Um the OBR is running the forbidden tech of no catacross no gash. Uh, which I've been tempted to run, so I'm very curious to see how this does. I like it. Um, not taking Catacross or Nagash obviously opens up a bunch of points. So uh, Ross has managed to fit in a Leech Cavallos um, in, with the defensive setup for just him. So like rather than an aura uh, of something helping the whole army, he's just hard to kill. Uh, then it's 10 Death Riders, 5 Death Riders, 4 Harbingers, a Crawler fits in. Two of the deep striking uh, Tredic cohorts and a Soul Mason. I think that's a solid list. Um, like I said, I think OBR are really good right now. Four Harbingers are going to kill a lot of stuff. They are a little less scary. Um, not less scary. They're still as scary. You have to be more careful with them when you don't have Nagash to just bring them back. Um, 10 Death Riders obviously hits real hard. Um, yeah, it's a good list. Um, definitely higher again higher unit count than like i went for and a little more able to spread out with these deep striking to maybe get tactics and things uh ch -ch 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 daughters of cain in a scaf coven i don't know what that means got the manifestations of cain with an iron scale so yeah this is this is no no morathi and no Crethusa. um 22 minutes and i'm on like team three this is, i gotta speed this up all right iron scale Reinforced Blood, Blood Sisters. Reinforced Blood Stalkers. Another unit of Reinforced Blood Sisters, so that's two uh, units of the Fighty Snakes. A Medusa, it's a Medusa and an Iron Scale, and then you've got a Hag Queen with three by five Doomfire Warlocks. Uh, a lot of people think Warlocks are real good right now. They're fast. Um, again, again, this trend of, you know, more teams with more units and more ability to spread out than kind of maybe we went for. Um... And then we've got our KO with uh, an Engineer's Guild. So we've got Admirable, bleh, bleh, Admirable, Admiral Navigator, Arcanaut Company reinforced. Interesting. The Ironclad reinforced Thunders. And then over here we've got uh, Endron Master with the Endron Harness, another Arcanaut Company, and two by six Endron Riggers. This is interesting to me because it seems like probably the Thunders are going in the big boat, and then the Endron Riggers are just flying around on their own doing things. I kind of like that. Like, the thing that always killed me about KO was, like, the Endron Riggers are in the frigate, they fight you, you finally, like, kill the boat, and, like, they pop out of the boat, and then they still just move 12 inches, right, and hit hard. So I'll be saying it again. We'll see. I'm very curious to see how this goes, because um, it's an interesting... Yeah. KO has been in a in a questionable place where maybe people haven't figured out how to play them yet, and this could be a very interesting way to play them. I, I think I like it. All right, that's always loaded. D6 inches unbuffed. The worst team at the tournament because I'm trash talking because we played them first round. <laughs> we got our pairings. So we're playing D6 inches unbuffed. Uh, they gave me swag last year, so, you know, actually they're great. Um, so we've got Gits uh, with Scragrot. Two by six iron guts, three iron guts, iron guts. What am I saying? Tragus, rock guts. Uh, sorry. So we've got eighteen rock guts, but they're in two by six, two by three. Then we've got two units of bounders to be fast and punch things and get tactics. We've got trug. We've got both special characters. This is this is more this is more what I'm running and um, Roger's running in that in that kind of um, category of tough things that are going to brawl it out on small numbers of objectives. Uh, we've got IDK in a one drop with the Aspect of the Sea, the Eidolon, two Leviathons, uh, six more Sar Guards, six more Sar Guards. This is just a compact little package of punchiness, make you sad with big turtles, 
cool. Love it. Again, that's that's kind of this this team's kind of running more styles of lists that I feel like that we're running. So it'll be a it'll be a good first round matchup and see how we pair things. Uh, Justin, the absolute legend, has a bunch of big pigs. What is not to love? Just the this is this is this is like this is two d six plus five inches buffed. Uh, I love it. Um, Tusk boss, one unit more. Grunt, uh, sorry, Gore Gruntas, and then you've got. Malgrunter Galja, the Malgrunter with the hacking crew, another Tusk boss, and then more more big pigs. It's like seven big pigs. It's great. Uh, Daughters of Cain, though, we've got in this one, Crethusa, Sisters of Slaughter, Reinforced Witch Elves, Slaughter Queen on the Cauldron of Blood, who goes with Crethusa, I believe. Um, they have like that synergy thingy. Uh, Shadow Stalkers. 20 more Witch Elves, 20 more Witch Elves, another Hag Queen on foot, an Avatar of Cain, and two Doomfriar Warlocks, uh, who we have discussed in... I don't know, are they the same in... Are they the same in cities as they are in this? I have no idea. Anyway, they're fast, they're good. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of bodies. And then we've got Night Haunt, the, the Boogeyman from before the balance patch. I think they're fine now. Uh, with Olander, 20 Revenants, 2 units of Harrows, which are much worse now because they only teleport in the Night Haunt turn. Lord Executioner, Rykonor, Grimgast Reapers, Hex Race. So it's kind of the same thing Night Haunt was running, but has been nerfed. Um, yeah, these guys are fast. These seem fast. And then you've got some tangy lists. And who knows? Big. I mean, Big Pigs are obviously fast. So 3... That yeah, I I, I kind of like that comp of two kind of anvil <laughs> anvil lists and then fast lists. Uh, Damage Inc. with uh, Frederick Schmidt, Ryan's the captain. Sorry, I just called out Fred because I've met Fred. I know Fred. He's cool. They're cool. Uh, so we've got Fred. Oh, Fred's not cool. Fred's running the nerd list for nerds, which is Lumineth. In Hurrican Temple, with War Sages, 10 Wind Chargers, 20 Sentinels, a Wind Mage, 2 Spirits of the Wind, and 10 more Wind Chargers. Yeah, never mind. Fred's not cool. <laughs> this is the fast, annoying Lumineth list. It's probably really good, especially in teams, when you can pair it into something it's good against. Uh, Roland running Slaves in the Pile of Violence. Um, got a Demon Prince of Nurgle with the Radiance. Uh, for healing, got two by five Knights of Corn. Feel a little questionable on that one, but they can beat up things on the flanks. Uh, Warriors of Nurgle reinforced. Your Demon Prince can be giving them extra rend or ward saves or things, so they're going to be very tough. And then we have two by three Vanguard of Corn and a Gaunt Summoner. Uh, I don't like. I. I... I think I would rather have like the Varengard be in one unit, so you can just throw him in the tower and throw him into something. Turn one. I, I just I don't know. I feel like this is wasting a little bit of the potential of the summoner to chuck something in somebody's face turn one. But maybe I don't know, maybe you're throwing the, the Nurgle Warriors in turn one. I had somebody do that against me and then the Morgas just killed them in a turn. <laughs> it was only ten though, not twenty. Um Let's see, Night Haunt with Death Stalkers, of course, with Alrock, who's cool, the boat guy, 2x20 Herodons, 10 Hex Wraiths, 5 Hex Wraiths, Rykonor, 8 Pyregeists, who we haven't seen yet, and 1 unit of Harrows with the Cronspine. Uh, I haven't been paying enough attention to um, who's got Cronspines or not. Uh, yeah, it's Night Haunt, it's fast, cool. Uh, we've got Disciples of Zinch, Horror, nah. Kairos, Lord of Change, Standard. Change caster, a spawn, which you put on the board now to begin with. Flamers, screamers, blue horrors and pink horrors, and more screamers. I think I think the screamers probably just either screen or do tactics, like take the flanks, because they're fast. We've got the Skaven. Gross. Don't love to see this. Apparently it's hot to take a bunch of rattling guns now. So it's got the Archer Warlock, two by six ratlings, 40 clan rats, another three ratlings. The Vermlord Warpseer with Scurrier Way, 2x20 Clan Rats, and a Plague Pack. So this is just a lot of a lot of Clan Rat bodies with, with Rattling Guns. I, it seems 
Like, it's going to be the standard Skaven thing now. Scary. Dunkings. Iron Jaws. Sylvaneth. Gloom Spite. Slaves. Lumineth. Lumineth is Hurricane Temple. So we've got one, two Spirits of the Wind, and Severeth. So basically three. Ten Wind Chargers. This is all fast and shooty. Banner Blade with 20 Sentinels. And then the Caligrave with the River Blades. Solid. Uh, don't stop Bellicorin. So this is the one drop, not just with two by six Varengard. It's one by six Varengard, two by ten Nurgle Warriors, reinforced unit of Chosen and Bellicor. That's cute. I like that. Um, obviously it's very slow. This is a low objective count list that's just gonna try and grind on a few objectives. Doesn't even have the Furies to like be fast and go around and do tactics. Uh, <laughs> it's getting dank in here. All right. Trug, Trog Boss. Another dank hold Trog Boss. Dank hold two, three, four, five single dank holds. So one, two, three Trog Bosses, five single dank holds. Trug. Cool. My, I want to, I want to have more gas to seed all of those, all of those dank holds. Uh, Sylvaneth with, uh, this is like monster math. Monster Math. Monster Mash. Uh, Sylvaneth with Hilarial, Tree Revs, Tree Lord, Durthu, Belthanos, Warsong. I played something like this um, at the RTT, and Durthu and Belthanos went in turn one and didn't kill anything, and then they both died turn one back to my swings back, uh, which was bad. And I won that game very painfully. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't know if this is good. I don't know. I don't know how hitty these things are. They, they didn't seem hitty, but I was also playing like the tankiest army in the game. <laughs> so maybe match matchups, you know, again, the team tournament changes everything because you can pair things into, into lists that are better for them potentially. Uh, then we got Kragnos Iron Jaws with 10 Brutes, three Rekkas, a War Chanta, six, six, six Brute Ragers. Sweet. Love it. Love Iron Jaws. Love to see the brutes out. 31 brutes and a prayer. Dig it. Uh, so that's the Dun Kings. Oh, 32 minutes. We can do this. Uh, K Town Killers. Ooh, with Bill Souza. Let's see. So we've got Beasts, Blades of Corn, Heed Knights, Zinch. Ugh. LRL. Ruining it. It was almost, almost all chaos. Could have been cool. All right, so we got Sam Gold with Beasts. Heck, if I know what Beasts do. Got a Bray Shaman, Bestigors, Centigors, both reinforced. Two Ungor Raider units. Another Bray Shaman, because their manifestations are pretty cracked. They're good. Uh, two units of Centigors, a Doom Bowl, and a reinforced unit of Bulgors. I don't know. It seems reasonable. Fuck if I know if it's good. Blades of Corn, Scar Brand, a Bloodthirster, a Slaughter Priest, Standard. Got five Wrathmongers, Claws of Karanak, Skull Crushes, I'm kind of down on. They just don't do damage. Blood Warriors, Skull Cannon. Cool. Uh, Knights with Glutos and the Twin Souls. Uh, my buddy Travis played this recently, and Varengard still killed them through minus two attacks. Um, so that sucked. <laughs> Also has a keeper. Let's see, twenty archers, twenty demonets, and hell striders. I do not know what hell striders do, um, but we'll see. Um, not everything is Baron Garden can kill this, um, so I think it's got play. Destiny nice burning cool Kairos. Uh, no Lord of Change. Uh, so Kairos spawn screamer screamers skyfires reinforced. Enlightened Reinforced, uh, I th think do a lot of damage, and then the Zangor Shaman. Cool. Uh, I'm fading so hard here. I don't I don't think I'm going to make it. I, I don't think I'm going to make it through everybody. I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I've got so many lists. There's too many. I'm, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Uh, so let's let's just, let's look at the team comps briefly. I'm, I'm out of gas on the list. I'm sorry. It's almost 11 o'clock. I was up till one last night uh so that was the dun kings wait was it the dun kings 
No, that was K Town Killers. All right, Mistcasters Anonymous has Cities, Ogres, OBR, Zinch, Stormcast. Great. Munin, Maggotkin, Sylvaneff, Beasts of Chaos, Gloom Spite, Slaves to Darkness. Nexus Guardians, Maggotkin, Seraphon, Sylvaneff, Design Pulls of Zinch, and a missing list. Or, or maybe just a missing player. I think they need I think they need a, a ringer there. Uh, paid actors led by the great Josh Hankin, Stormcast, Seraphon, Cruel Boys, Sylvaneth, Gloom Spike Gits. I think Josh might be the only Cruel Boys. The Thought Coven, otherwise known as uh, Sabetti and the Spaghetti Yetis, uh, Slaves to Darkness. What is Joe running? It's not listed there. Gloom Spite. Great. LRL, Skaven, Ogre Mall Tribes. I'm curious what Therese is playing. Butcher, Iron Guts, Frost Sword, Gluttons, Buttons, Buttons. All right. A little, a little different than the Knicks. Um, I will say I'm the only OBR who has Catacross, I think, which surprises me a lot. Uh, there's an Agash list in here somewhere. I already talked about us. Oh, wow. It goes so fast when you're not actually looking at the lists. All right, uh, Warpstone, Blunt Rollers, winners of the best name, uh, with Zinch, OBR, Soul Blight, Slaves to Darkness, and Maggotkin. I think this is the only Soul Blight. Um, just, I think this is the Nagash list. No, nope, I'm wrong. This is another no Catacross, no Nagash. So just lots of toys with the Cavalos, uh, Liege, 10 and 5 Death Riders, 4 Harbingers, Crawler again, Soul Mason, Mortec Guard, and Tretic Cohort. So this is, this is almost the same list as the other one, just with a unit of Mortec Guard instead of a Tretic Cohort. So that might just be a how many models do I have issue. Uh, is this the new meta list? I don't know. There's two of them. Uh, and then, yeah, We Can't Read, uh, led by Miles, um, one of the organizers, uh, with Iron Jaws, Flesh Eater, Quartz, Daughters of Cain, Stormcast, and Blades of Corn. So yeah, lots of Lumineth, not shocking. Lots of Gits, not shocking. Good amount of OBR and Slaves to Darkness. There's actually a good amount of Iron Jaws and Daughters of Cain. Lots of Stormcast. Yeah, there's just there's just kind of a good spread all around. All around. Um, yeah, this is. Oh no, this is just Karzai. So Karzai and Praetors is a good. Good combo right now. Six long strikes. This is probably something like what we would have tried to build if we did a Stormcast list. I just want to call out, I think, I thought I remembered there's a double big dragon list in here somewhere. I could be wrong. I could have just missed it. Or I could be misremembering. My brain is fried. I'm curious about this other cities list. This is Callus and Toll, Two by Hunters, Dark Shards, Drake Spawn, Executioner, Hammers, Rune Lord, Sorceress. This is very, very, very similar to something I played with my slaves uh, against John Baker in a tournament recently here in Maryland. Uh, it felt very strong. Um, it was a very close game. We were both kind of derping out a little bit, um, but it's a good list. Yeah, um, wow, my brain is fried. I can't go through any more lists, but I hope you enjoyed this half a preview of these lists. Uh, man, Warhammer requires a lot of thinking, and my brain can't handle that right now. So, um, yeah, have fun, y'all. Maybe I'll manage to do uh, one more video before the weekend, um, but I'll probably be spending that time planning matchups and things with my team. Uh, so maybe not. Oh, well, whatever. I'll see you soon. I'll make another video soon about something better and cooler than my brain can handle right now. <laughs> Good night.